Okay, we're going to show how it ends. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 60, Sieves and Sliders. In today's episode, we entered with some reflection on the concept of rich imagery in slides, visual imagery, and how that translates to rich, lush, melodic imagery in music compositions. And we listened to one of our older ones for the illustration of that point. We then worked on down into Improvisation 3, taking the original version, which was this one, and we restructured it some more, adjusted the pausing. We even experimented with timbres. This is what the ending sounds like with timbres. But then we completely refactored it. We decided to go on this idea of structuring the Buddhist dilemma arcs by going from lower to higher consonants in the chords. And it took us a while to do that. It took us a while to do that. So the original order was 1 through 15 sections. This is the new order where we start with 11, ironically. We still end on 15, as you just heard. So the green, gray, green, gray just shows us how we separated these into the, the harm and the attribute and the exploit labels. So we're going to play that for you. Here. So that ends today's stream. What we find intriguing is now it's much more clearly progression from the dissonance at the early parts to the consonants towards the end parts. And if, if you're reading these labels uh, in, our, in our mind's eye, we're starting to kind of tell an internal story and, and we feel like the music more closely aligns with that story. We call the Buddha's dilemma. Now it is true that some of them could still be swapped around. For example, here there were two seven consonances, two six consonances that could have been switched around. Actually, this was the actual chord score over here. This was the chord score here. And um, we made a little kind of arbitrary decisions to kind of separate them and push them apart and so forth. So we could certainly revisit it, but, uh, and we will, you know, the basic idea is to keep working with, um, 
Improvisation 3. Also, um, as we mentioned, we made quite a lot of instrument <laughs> changes. <laughs> While we were experimenting, we started with choir, and then we jumped to... Then we went to trumpet, then we tried flute, oboe, clarinet, because we were... The first arrangement was just... It wasn't clicking. It was had long, boring sections, and so we tried, you know, desperate measures changing the timbres, and that caught our interest. So we do think there's some, some, uh, add back the instrument changes would be an idea for next time. So, uh, acknowledgements to some things to do. Who stopped by? Mr. Spatz, haven't seen him in ages, came by, and Miss Cleo, as always. Do take care, do come back and do keep on streaming.